is what it is. Let's reset the rule. It is what it is. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. It is what it is. Here. That was annoying. You too, Wagwan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. As you can see, we got some more madness going on. Thanks for pulling up on my channel. Please like and subscribe. Brittany Renner was recently on a podcast called The Danza Project, where they also had Charleston White as a guest on the podcast. So obviously, these guys was looking for some drama. They was looking for something crazy to happen because you got Brittany Renner. And then on top of that, you got Charleston White. Now, both of them are wild cards. Both of them wild cards separately. Imagine putting them together. You're going to get some madness. And then on top of that, Charleston White was talking down on Brittany Renner back in the past. So then you put them together in the same place on the same podcast. You asking for something. So these guys was looking for a reaction and they got one. I think them boys was looking for the clicks. You feel me? Them boys were looking for something crazy to happen. And now a lot of people on the internet talking about them. So they got what they asked for. They got what they wanted. I'm going to pay respects to the Danza Project podcast. That's just because uh, most of these clips is coming from that podcast where Britney was acting up, acting like a, like a fool. So for those of you who don't know, Britney Renner is a social media influencer. She's known for her body. She's known for a lot of the outlandish things she say on the internet about men. And she's... Also known for the people who she's dated in the past, such as Kevin Samuels to Colin Kaepernick and the father of her son, NBA player PJ Washington. I'd argue that she is more popular for the people she dated rather than the content that she put out as a social media influencer. So she was on the podcast and they asked her about PJ. When they asked her about PJ, that's when she seemed to get a little bit triggered. That's when things got a little out of control. PJ just got an amazing contract. How does that make you feel as a woman knowing that's your baby father? What is your first view on that? Honestly, I want my child's father to win. Exactly. It's just what it is. And regardless of what, of what people say, I believe he deserves whatever he feels he's worthy of. So... It, whatever that contract looks like, that's what it looks like. You see how her face turned up crazy. As soon as he said PJ, her face was just like, like, <laughs> she was not feeling the question. You could tell. So I don't care what she talking about. She happy for him. Maybe she is happy for him. Maybe she just don't want to talk about him. I don't know. But the, by the look on her face, she got really uncomfortable when Buddy brought up PJ. And I didn't have a child. You know, I had a, a second degree tear. You know what that looks like? I'm going to no. say, no. say no. I'm going to say no for all of us. Is everybody fucking I'm listening? I'm going to say no. <laughs> Hello? That's just somebody I'm just whatever. It's about money. Let me tell you something. I can't be bought. Hello? That's what, that's what all these people in the chat can't seem to understand. They think I can be bought. They think that it's just about money. It's just whatever. It's the highest bidder. I believe in true love. Hello? I heard her say that. But you I know, said we it a hundred fucking times. Huh. Hey, the listen. Hello! Hey, listen, now, listen. Listen to what I fucking say. Shut the fuck up when a real bitch is talking. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Get Shut the, the, the fuck up. Take the room. Shut go. up. Shut the fuck up. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Cause I'm a real fucking bitch. I can't be bought. I believe in true love. Yeah, shouty. I beg to differ. I really beg to differ based on the things you've said in the past that's all over the internet and still on the internet right now to this day. Them things are still on the internet right now to this day. You 100% can be bought. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> NBA Twitter wildly speculates that PJ Washington could be paying $2.4 million annually in child support. You've got the nerve to stand there and expect me to believe that you don't want to marry my son for his money? It's true. Then what do you want to marry him for? I want to marry him for your money. Fair. Oh, Lorelai. You can be bought. You have been bought. Brittany Renner was accused of seducing and trapping P.J. Washington. Brittany Renner met P.J. Washington when he was about 18 years old. He was playing for Kentucky, doing his college thing. She's six years older than he is, so she was approximately 24, 25 years old at the time. 
made it to the NBA. He's doing well in the NBA. He's 25 years old today. Then back in May 2021, Brittany and PJ Washington had a baby boy together. Shortly after the boy was born, Brittany broke up with PJ Washington and then went after him for child support. Rumor has it he's paying about 200K a month in child support. Now that rumor is floating all over the internet, everywhere I can look. That's what I saw. That's the number I saw. I thought the number was ridiculous. So I tried to see if I could find something more realistic. But 200K is all I was seeing. I was able to find something from PJ saying that uh, that was not true. It was, um, he tweeted out that it's not true, but he can't be lying just because he's probably embarrassed at how much he got to pay. And maybe the internet is just lying with the false information and just ran with it. I don't know, but at this time, the only number that I have is 200K a month. Recently, PJ received a three-year deal for $48 million to continue playing with the Charlotte Hornets. And that's probably why her face got all screwed up like that when they asked that question. Maybe she feel like if she would have stayed in it a little longer, she could have made more money. I don't know. I really don't know. But as soon as they had their kid, that's when they broke up. And now she getting paid. She getting paid now. I tried to force something that wasn't mine. That wasn't my person. And that's okay. He's sitting over there motherfucking. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripheral. Shut up. That's peripheral. Seriously, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Because if you ever felt real love to where you have a motherfucking second degree tear, hello? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Hello? Oh, hello? You didn't mean oh, it. Shit. Hello? You don't know what it's fucking like. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I meant to hit this nigga. Wrong guy, wrong guy. It's me, they straight wildin'. I'm not having nobody on my podcast and they acting up like this. Like, obviously, you don't know exactly how somebody's going to act when you bring them on. But once they start flipping out like this and they start throwing shit, yo, we got to cut this. It's time to go. We got enough content. Kick her out of here. We just going to have... If it was me, we just going to kick her out and we just going to talk to Charleston White because he's chilling right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit there and I'm going I'm to leave uh, Brittany Renner on my podcast acting up, throwing shit. You know, this the, 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 the equipment that's, that's needed to do these things is really expensive and she in there acting up, not respecting the uh, respecting the podcast and respecting the people in the room that's with her, acting crazy. And they chilling. They chilling. They laughing about it. Now nah, I would have had to end that. Like, hey, we good, man. You got to get up out of here. Let me tell you wrong something. Guy, Jeff, wrong guy, Shut the Jeff. fuck up. This right here is about to go. Let me tell you something. We good, we good. Shut up. We good, we good. I'm fucking talking. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to hit that nigga. Because you sitting over here laughing. Uh, okay. chill, 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 chill. Relax, relax. I ain't chilling. Relax, relax, relax. Because at the end of the day, it ain't your pussy. Hey, listen, I hear you. Hey, listen, that's fine. But guess what? You protecting him is what it is. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? She hit the wrong nigga. Hey, don't be sitting over there laughing. Let me tell you, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking about uh, then Apologies, bad in my champ. shit then. Champ, she cool, Apologies, champ. Bad in my shit. Champ. And like, uh, champ, champ, she cool, champ, champ. Leave her alone, champ, champ, champ. It's okay, champ. Nah, you cool. You cool because y'all fools sitting there let her act crazy and y'all gonna accept it because it's Britney Renner. But I don't care about none of that shit. You gotta go. They come out, oh, you, you cool, champ, champ, champ. She cool, she good, champ. Nah, she not good. Y'all saying that because y'all ain't get smacked with the water bottle. She gonna smack and, and just so you know, just so you know. I looked into it. The person she smacked with, the reason they saying champ is because they're talking about Shannon Briggs, ex-boxer, somebody retired years and years ago. He's older now, but he's still a big dude, still a heavy dude, still a strong dude. He wasn't okay with that. He wasn't okay with getting smacked with the water bottle. So he got mad, and reasonably so. And everybody in the room is telling him, hey, hey, hey it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's not cool. You ain't get smacked in the head. I'm guessing it's the head. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he got hit at, but he got smacked with a water bottle and he wasn't feeling it. And she talked about something, oh, you here to protect him? He like, nah, I ain't here to protect nobody. I ain't nobody bodyguard. I guess she assumed that it was a really big dude in the room. He was Charleston White's bodyguard. He wasn't. He said he was just there. I'm just here. And everybody in the room telling him he cool. Obviously, he's not cool. He's mad. Apologies, child. Batman my shit. 
I don't hit women, you know that? That right, it's Shannon Briggs right here, Chip it out. We're good, we're good. Apologies, Chip. At the end of the day, all right, I don't give a fuck you talking about lady. I don't care. At the end of the day, nobody knows what I went through. Nobody knows what I'm going through. So nobody, Yo. you, Yo. him, 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 whoever the Yo, fuck, bro. you don't get to sit here this. and talk about shit. Ain't hey, nobody bro. drunk bitch talking about nothing. She's in there telling that man to hit her. Come hit me then. Come hit me then. It's crazy. Though. Like, I don't know. Sometimes women be braver than the men do because another dude ain't going to tell that big ass nigga to come hit him because if he do, you already know it's over for you, bucko. It's over for you, bucko. And women be like, oh, come hit me. And you the smallest person in the room. You want that big dude to come. If he hit you, I promise you, you might not get up again. You may never get up again. But when women be acting crazy sometimes, they just be like, yo, I could take on anybody. But you know what it is, though? She know that he wasn't going to come do it. She know he wasn't going to come do it. And she knew if he tried, it was going to be a lot of guys that tried to get in his way. Granted, everybody in that room getting beat up by him. But it, she, she felt protected. She felt protected. Right? Another NBA player. Does that matter to you? Does that matter to you? Okay, I had a second degree tear. That means they sewed me up. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. You know what that means? That means I love that motherfucker. Right. You understand that? You was nine pounds. Pussy. <laughs> had a second degree tear. Do you know what that means? Uh, you just taught us. Ripped. What is it? <laughs> Ripped. Thank you, Charleston. Ripped open. Ripped. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, boy had a head like his daddy. Ma'am. Yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, boy had a head Man, like his daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, All right. I mean, PJ Washington, like six, seven, six, eight. That's a big dude. So it's not surprising that he had a big kid. You know what I mean? But just because PJ Washington had a big kid doesn't mean that you love him anymore. She's saying that, oh, I had a second degree tear. That means I love him. That don't mean that. You can't control how big the baby came out. How does having a big baby and you being ripped open mean that you love PJ? If you loved him so much, why you left him right after the baby was born? I'd argue you did it more for a financial benefit, knowing that, oh, I'm having an NBA player's child. Now that now we got the kid, now it's time to leave him and get this child support money. I argue that. Not that you loved him because the baby was big. It doesn't even make sense. How you say that with a straight face? But I mean, I'm looking at her through this podcast, and she looks a little bit more than drunk. She looks like there's some, like she got some drugs in her system or something. She more than drunk. Something going on with her. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Jeez. I didn't hear nothing for that. Oh, oh that's oh, 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 a minute, Miss Renner, Miss Miss Renner, Miss Renner. What what did you do to get water poured on you? I'm just being myself, player. Okay. Man, it's fucking so. Ma'am, I did nothing but bless you. I called you nothing but ma'am. <laughs> Man, she in there acting up, bro. She in there acting up. But this is exactly what them boys wanted. I feel like this is what they wanted. Because why would you have Brittany Renner and Charleston White on your podcast? Granted, Charleston was chilling. He was chilling the whole time. But I feel like he didn't really have an opportunity to act up. Because Brittany was doing it all. <laughs> she was the wild card from the jizz zone. You and people in people place... And on they show, and you just <laughs> acting crazy like this, like no respect at all. Only person she seemed like she was really nice to in the room was Charleston White. And I don't know the other guys in the room. I know Shannon Briggs a little bit from when I was a kid. He was boxing. But I would assume Charleston probably got the most money in there. So that might be why she was nicest to him. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking. You feel me? Yo, that's all I have for today, man. I definitely appreciate y'all stopping by my channel. Please do me a favor, jump down in them comments. Please hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I don't even know what I'm pointing at. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. Hey, like, subscribe, share the video with your homies. And that's all I have for today. Peace.